Hi everybody, I'm Anthony and welcome back to another Nostalgia Critic reaction video. This time I'm going to react to Nostalgia Critic's review of Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief. Now, here's the thing. I have not seen the entire Percy Jackson movie. I've only seen clips like way back in like 2010, like almost ages. And now, I know in the end, of course, like Percy Jackson, of course, he saves the day and stuff right here. And um, I, I haven't got into Percy Jackson. I haven't got into it, the books or the movies. But I have respect for it. I have respect for its fan base. And um, and even though I, um, with my previous reaction video, where I, <clears throat> it was a movie where I have seen, this one, I've only, this, this one, Percy Jackson, I've only seen clips of. But I thought, but book movies but i i thought i had thought movies could be different than the book so maybe the movie maybe has some problems with it i've heard of the movie since i was a kid and again i've seen some clips and but maybe maybe the movie like probably has some big flaws with it maybe it's almost like like it really really different from the book where it becomes more cliched and more maybe has some flaws in it that i would and even though i haven't seen the actual entire film and and stuff maybe it could maybe it could still be an entertaining reaction for you guys because maybe he might because maybe he might explain there's some things about it that i'm like ooh, that's not right and i hope it's still be a big entertaining reaction for you guys where i'll be like what the movie has that um but one scene one scene i definitely remember from this movie is of course the end credit scene with um the medusa's head in the fridge and i guess it kills the the, the abusive stepfather or whatever <laughs> yeah yeah uh, i remember that one so now yeah, now of course because I haven't seen the film, I just saw clips and stuff. Um, uh, my reaction video is probably not um, the best because I haven't seen the film. Uh, I didn't. I I didn't get into the books. I haven't read the the books. I tried to, but I I I haven't. I guess I haven't gotten into them. And um, so, but I I hope I hope his review is really funny and it's pretty long. It's thirty six minutes, and I guess I just hope. Um, I'm worried if if he's gonna like pan it like Aragon. Like maybe I hope the movie is nothing like. Ar I'm betting it's definitely not gonna be like Aragon. Um, so overall, um, uh, even though I've seen clips, I might, I hope that throughout discovering with his review and entertain entertaining and fun fact, and also I just find it really entertaining. Discover that a certain movie that he reviews has certain big flaws, and I'm like, oh my god, I cannot believe a movie did that. Like, oh, this particular movie did that. So anyway. So, but I still hope this becomes a nice and entertaining reaction video for you guys, um, for his review, like on his review, of Percy Jackson and the Olympians, the Lightning Thief. So yeah, let's get to this. This is my reaction video to, to, to Sound Critic's review of Percy Jackson and the Olympians, the Lightning Thief, and let's do this. Oh, oh crap. Oh, I clicked on the wrong video. Okay, here we go. This episode brought to you by SkillShare. Classes taught by expert practitioners for your career or for your pension. By the way, I want to to say to a massive shout out to the people who saw my Barney reaction video. I really hope you guys liked it. My that like it's it's getting a lot of views, and I hope you guys really enjoyed it. And if you did, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I really hope that. It was that was it was a nice video. I hope it you were entertained by it. Just just thank you for enjoying it. I'll put a link in the description for people who haven't seen that reaction video yet. So here we go. Ready? Yeah. Tell me what's up with the sign on our NC school for wild youngsters. Oh, I guess this is gonna be the point of the episode, like the moral. Oh, I, I have a feeling with what he's talking about, it's gonna be like he's gonna pan it. But he shouldn't. It does. It's because from what I remember, it looks different from other fantasy movies, and it's and like I said, it's definitely different from Aragon. Oh, the, the play button! <laughs> darkest, darkest Minds. 
young person be a little more deep? Because people can't imagine themselves as that young person. I don't think I follow this. I haven't seen Darkest Minds, but I know it's it's just. Again, I'm only going with how the movie is. Maybe the movie turned out to be shockingly bad through this review. Um, I'm betting the books are definitely really better than the movie. Jubilee. Yeah, she looks nice as Jubilee. Does a mall babe eat chili fries? Does a mall babe eat chili fries? I guess it's from the animated series from the X-Men show. Again, please don't tell me that the movie is 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 almost generic. Almost. Just don't just please don't tell me, please. You look really good. They often add something to make it enjoyably unique. This, even despite having Sorcerer Stone director Chris Columbus, feels like a dollar yeah. store coloring book trying to be a popular thing, but as flat as the toilet paper is printed on. He uses the same formula a lot of movies. But it looks good. Do. But actually, so far, it looks really good. It looks like a lot of effort right and now, really good visual effects from these clips. Storytelling cliches? Why can't we? So I trust you're taking notes on how the And I think it had a longer running time long running time as I remembered. I think if I remember. This is oh, oh, I see twenty laps around the building. Jubilee. He means twenty laps around the neighborhood property line. Look, <clears throat> he's taking me to get on the phone. But you have a wand, like 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 mess with him. Okay. You'll go with the jelly green Aquaman coming out of the sea and taking to the streets. I can already see how the gods have kept themselves a secret for so long. Hey, cool. Poseidon's powers include Windbreaker manufacturing. That'll be fun to explore. He talks with Zeus, though seeing how he's played by Sean Bean, he should probably be the god of death. As we partake in the first of our wild youngsters cliches... I don't know if he dies in this movie. ...before the main character is introduced. No life. As, as I've seen clips. Zeus's lightning has been stolen, and he thinks Poseidon's son is the culprit. If your son is the thief, I will send him to the depths of Tartus. You know, it's a shame the gods decided not to be a part of our world for no reason. We could have shown them security cameras, alarm systems, things that could prove who really committed a crime instead of just flat out guessing. But wouldn't the reveal of their secret world be less wowish? Wowish, even. Yes, indeed, well Aragon. Logic can be cast aside if tropes we've seen a million times can be exploited. Nice one, bro. <laughs> what the? Zeus says Poseidon has 14 days to return to the island or there will be war. Hey, remember when Earth went two weeks without lightning and nobody noticed? Fun times. As the credits roll, we see Percy Jackson, played by Logan Lerman, holding his breath for seven minutes while his best friend Grover, played by Brandon T. Jackson, cheers him on. I wish I could spend all day in the water instead of this place. Right? It's like a high school without the musical. That's how kids talk. It's like a high school without the musical. So, 
high school. Which it's not like it is. No wonder that now jabs up. Percy has trouble reading. But that's a neat line. His doctor diagnoses him with dyslexia. It's funny, I have slight dyslexia, which means I see words and sentences in the wrong place. I get to hear one where the letters are the chorus line like Dick Van Dyke's credit at the end of Mary Poppins. And I, doctor, might ask a few follow up questions hearing that. Does Doug really have dyslexia? Does she own that whole building? In New York, a box is a building. Okay, really quick. Does Doug really have dyslexia? Because I've noticed how some of the things that Nostalgia Critic says, even like, like the like, like um his opinions are based <clears throat> on Doug's real things. Of course, like the opinions and also some some references to some things in his life. Because because. Like, uh, there are videos where it turns out, oh, like, that's actually real. It's actually based on Doug's life. Like, is he really dyslexic? And if so, I, and if so, um, I still respect you, Doug. I respect you, Doug, and I respect all dyslexic people. I just wanted to point that out just to, just to give my respect and stuff. How is she up here, honey, in this building? Were the hallway doors open so he could hear her on the third floor? And why wouldn't she be up there if they didn't live on that floor? Damn, I don't know what prints you're ironing clothes for, but he gives you good tips. But someday it'll all make sense. Really? When? Tonight? Tomorrow? When? So Prissy says both his dyslexia and ADHD seem to be getting worse. You know, I thought this school was supposed to make things better. I need point to one other kid. Any other kid in this day and age who has ADHD, dyslexia, or both. I can't focus enough to read that. Need an underdeveloped Italian asshole archetype? I cast Joe Pantoliano before he even finished. Oh, that's Joe Pantoliano? As the, as the, the, as that guy? As the abusive stepfather or whatever? Oh, if only his literal godfather could see how well I'm raising him. Stand back, Mary. I'm the big deal around here. Is his stepfather or fiance or? And he can't even hold but me yeah, up. I feel like he is kind. Of, he seems like the position of the stepfather. Sex. What do I have to spell it out for you? Oh, that's right, I can't. I heard sex. <laughs> it, but the, oh, the photography is really nice. It's really good. It's, de it's definitely different from generic. <laughs> He's like, yeah! I found this sad kid outside having an asthma attack. Hunter, you're behind. Look off Neo's nose. Again, Harry, take your wand and literally, like, stupefy his ass. Come on! Jubilee. The kids go to a field trip to a museum where they're studying what else? Greek mythology. Critic, critic's nuts, but he's still funny and it's a character, so. Yeah, Pierce Brosnan's in this. Hey, I know my Disney films. That was Scar and it beautifully traumatized a lot of three year olds. Substitute teacher asked to speak with Percy and that escalated quickly. That does look kind of creepy. This looks like a job for crutches and a wheelchair. Take this to defend yourself. It's a powerful weapon. This is a pen. A vape I mean, pen? Yeah, I remember that clip. pretentious and stay away from you. Sally! More beer! That's my thing! Beer! My whole role on Sopranos was shit compared to this complexity! Freak. <laughs> so Super Grover steps into action and tells his mother that they need to go. What is happening? I didn't steal anything. Where are you taking me? What is this kid? Is it me or is this little shit always pissed off? What are you talking about? Mom, 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 mom. Why did he have to go? Are you kidding? It's special people, but hey, hey, maybe you're not seeing what I'm seeing. Talk. Is Percy yeah. like that in the books? Oh, let me know in the comments. In the car. We're in the car. Cars is go. But others have a beef with Percy. Whoa! Grover reveals he's half goad, and he gets Percy to the camp where he can actually read the lettering. There, duplicate that wow face. Duplicate that wow face. Wow. 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 Wow.
Can you have a one? Like, do something? But the mother can't cross because it's half bloods only. <laughs> The pen is mightier than the sword. Is the sword that also works? Percy's mother is killed, but Percy does manage to kill the monster with his own horn before passing out. No, she didn't die. She just disappeared. She she was taken somewhere. Uh, let's see your I remember that from a clip. Your wounds mended in a mysterious place of health base. Uh, okay, I may actually need to hospital. Here's some band aids. Oh. All of it was real. Wow, that was quite the underplayed reaction to his mother being dead. All of it was real. I'm always gone. Oh man, she hit my switch. Dumb. Yep. You're a demigod. Two points for Percy Jackson. <laughs> I have to act excited because the rest of this movie clearly isn't. I think you're the wrong guy. I'm not a hero. I'm a loser. I have dyslexia, ADHD. What? Oh man, I didn't know that. Christ! I was gonna go with the kid who ate his own dandruff when looking at girls, or the one who fights people on Twitter if you think Star Wars is a real religion, or the one who hears the devil screaming, "Burn anything with lips" seven times a day. But you have dyslexia and ADHD. Get your loser ass away from me, you disgusting piece of shit! Piece of shit! So even with his incredible handicap, Percy has convinced Bike Rover that he can train with the other demigods. What's your name? <laughs> what, a <laughs> what was that? What was that? It is a centaur, and I dare say he was weirdly the most comfortable in this role since he played James Bond. In my world, I'm known as Chiron. You have a real horse's ass. Okay, so the crutch is hiding the goat legs is actually pretty clever. Because you can go back and see that his bent legs are still there. You can buy it. How the hell did he hide horse legs in yeah, I'm wondering that. wheelchair? Yeah, I'm wondering that. His clothes making powers put together a man. I, I did know that. Yeah, 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 he's a centaur, but... Yeah, how did he hide that? Yeah, demigods can rarely protect themselves. Very powerful. Once again, why you needed to be protected. It made more sense if you didn't know how to use your amazing powers to defend yourself, because, you know, Go Point was there. But that was good. That was enough. That's why your mother married your stepfather. His pungent odor masked the smell of your blood. There's no sewage factory she couldn't move near? You had to be in an abusive relationship for that? How do you dummy gods not stab yourselves when you get up in the morning? My mother grew up in that creek to protect me. She was pretty stupid, yes. She sacrificed so much for me. Now she's gone. You know, I can't tell if every take in this is the first or the last, but it's definitely one of them. He either doesn't have the emotion figured so he's still feeling it out, or he's just done doing so many takes that he just bitterly gives up on the last one. Look, I didn't steal. This is your problem, all right? Not mine. This is about your world, not mine. This is like take 80. Are you really gonna do take 81? Dumb! Not that Brosnan is doing much better selling the end of the world. Olympians would be forced to choose sides. Earth would become a battleground. Mountains erupted, earthquakes, raging fires. No, really, it's like super bad and stuff. The last time me and Greece were involved in such terror, I was singing in Mamma Mia. So they tried to there are all those happy days to prove his end. There are those happy days, those seem so hard to find. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I just had to do that joke. <laughs> I had a feeling if he was gonna come with that joke, cause, come with that, come up with that, with that joke, referencing Mamma Mia, because, because yeah, it kind of sounded because when he was saying like that about the the world's gonna, when he was talking, when he was, when he was a centaur, when he was talking about how the world's gonna end. Yeah, he's, his voice sounded a little bit, uh, a tiny bit off. And <laughs> I thought he was going to get to that. Because Bruce Brosnan's voice when he's singing Mamma Mia was off. Anyway, let's get back to the reveal. This is Percy Jackson. And he's going to need a team. Jeez, hey, baby. His eyes are going to pop out and bite me. Crazy Eyes has less crazy eyes. Well, I'm Luke. I'm on the and camp leader. Everyone in position for Captain the He looks like the guy from the Moral Instruments, that guy. That guy with the blonde hair. I'm coming, buddy. I'm coming. Not your bears. Watch it. Whoa, that's a sword. That's a sword. I figure if I just say things I 
I see that counts as comedy. That's a sword, that's a sword, that's a tree, that's a tree, <laughs> that's another young adult movie I'm not putting on my resume. Oh, you guys take it <laughs> way too seriously. Go! Christ, this just came through the flag! What was Eddie Redman, your coach? Go! <laughs> <laughs> I had a feeling they were going to get to that joke. Now, this is a good time to talk about your training basis. Oh, is that when we're all like, wow, I'm having so much fun. I know, so okay. Exactly. You've all done okay, one thing I want to pause. I know that he's saying like, yeah, it has some cl some cliche things, but so far, I'm kind of still feeling, yeah, but it probably doesn't seem much like it because at first it looks really good. It looks really good. It has some interesting things about it. It doesn't make it generic. Um, so it might not be that much completely 100% fresh, but it does have something to prevent it from being generic. I guess I'm just, like, and maybe there's something kind of wonky with the character of Percy Jackson in the movie, but again, I do not, I do not know what the difference is between how he is in the movie compared to the book. So yeah, so yeah, so yeah let's get back to the review. This a million times, so let's see those phone in faces. <laughs> Are you cheating off Neo's face? No, sir, I was cheating. Yes, he was. I saw him. Oh, you have a wand! Mine's not playing at the same time. You went to the pa! That was, that was good. Okay, you were always somewhere in between Raven and Pazuzu from The Exorcist. Ow. 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 I don't remember that clip. Heals him and gives him super strength. Yeah, I learned nothing, cheated my way to victory, and got rewarded for it. Now, this is a hero's journey we can all learn from. Yep, that's what happened to the loser team, Grandpa Blade. But the night a dull mountain appears, interrupting their celebration. Percy Jackson! He, look. Right here. <laughs> he looks really interestingly designed, really unique. Kind of cool, also. In exchange for his mother being released from the underworld. This is something I can do on my own. Yeah, well, we were asking you that question. Come on. Today, you tried to kill me. Now you want to defend me? Blow. They decided they need help, though. So you say blow? Who helped him out earlier. You know what? All that renaissance fair stuff out there, you know? Playing video games in, in uh, forest camp, we're full of magic. Okay, first of all, you had like a sword right here. Whether that's like plastic or something, like with the strong velocity, that thing would have like chipped or taken that guy's foot off or something. But anyway, one thing I want to point out: that guy was okay. I remember that clip of that guy like playing video games in, in a in a fantasy in a forest like um camp especially when we're full of magic like if you're in a camp surrounded by magic I, i'm also i'm sorry that i'm disrupting the video i just wanted to point things out really quick if you're like um and i, I know i didn't do this before I, I mentioned it after but somehow this is really making me want to talk because i my just to to to, su to supplement and also like for th that i haven't seen this movie before and i'm not and i don't have much of a big reaction I st and i and i want to still keep you guys entertained but anyway like if you're in a magical camp full with magic and demigods, frick, fuck the game. Forget the games. Forget the games. Like, like I would be like, I don't, I don't want to play the games anymore. Like, I just want to go have some fun. Like, like maybe like fly or something. Like, like the possibilities. It just, it's a little, it's a little funny. It's a little weird. But overall, in the end, it's still interesting because of how I don't see that that much. I guess. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he's the bad guy. I, I know that. My dad's a jerk. I've never met him. Guess we all got daddy issues, huh? That's because all gods are the same. Selfish. They only care about themselves. People that murder mystery weekends reveal less about themselves than you. But he's giving up peewing shoes. He can't possibly be the villain, right? You see my dad on the night of the hell. Talk about PF Flyers. Now, this is especially interesting because. Pretty? Where'd he, where'd he go? Oh no. 
Were you looking to go on an adventure even though you'd get in trouble for it? Okay, I know that he's using Aragon, Ner N Neo, Jubilee, and Harry Potter to compare, like, kind of, if he, that he see, thinks it has a blandness to it. But and again, like I was saying, it might have something generic, but it it has something, and also with look and probably some direction from Chris from Chris Columbus, some of it being from some the direction of Chris Columbus, where it doesn't feel that gener generic. So that's why I can't jump more into the joke. It's still funny and still cool of them in the costumes. Really quick, I wanted to point out that the Aragon costume that Jim is wearing, um, it's not bad. It's cool that you know, he dressed up as Aragon, but kind of it's, it's, the, the dress kind of looks more like a cliche prince. It looks like a different prince from a different movie. I just can't point that out. Like something else, I can't point out. But anyway, and it, you know, actually, Tamara as Harry Pot as Harry Harry Potter's kind of remind me of. Uh, I can't remember the name of the actress from is that one Saturday Night Live actress who who played Harry in that in that sketch that that Saturday Night Live sketch of Harry Potter where she it was, was that was that woman she, there, it was a sketch that it was a, a Saturday Night Live sketch where it was a woman playing Harry Potter and that sketch also had Lindsay Lohan in it and Jimmy Fallon I'm trying to figure out who that name of the actress was it's kind of just Tamara like dressed up as Harry Potter it's kind of reminding me of it if any of you guys know the name of the actress, like, um, who, if that, if you think, if you know what I'm talking about, um, 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 let me know in the comments. So, um, so anyway, overall, um, this is a funny idea of having the, um, Neo and stuff right here. But anyway, let's, let's get back to the review. Dumpsters. Really? Were you playing this drop along the way? Yes. Was there going to be a very obvious betrayal that for some reason still surprised you? Yes. Uh, it's still a nice review. It's still good. I, this South Critic is still doing a good job. Neo's not a youngster. Something's gonna happen. Yeah, something's gonna happen. Oh, nothing's gonna happen. I thought something was gonna happen. <laughs> Cause it, the user are like, ha 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 ha. I thought something was gonna blow up or something. I was expecting it. But okay. Oh, the commercial. Oh God. Doug, 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 Doug. Oh, Doug, that would be splendid. It's called Doug, 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 Doug,
But yeah, that was funny. Doug, Doug. That, that's gonna be some. That's, that, that's hilarious. Doug, 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 Doug. Doors open at 6, there'll be a meet and greet beforehand, signing autographs, taking pictures, the screening starts at 7, and there'll be a Q&A to follow. You can get more information as well as seeing the trailer by checking out the link in the description. And you can see me at Salt City Con in New York, July 6th to the 7th. Hopefully we'll see you all there. Let's go. So the back. For back. Girls spread around the United States, which will allow them to leave the underworld after they save Percy's mom. The first seems to be at a garden in Borium. Yes. Monster! Now people will lose their wishes! Hmm. There's a bunch of statues in the style of scared shitless and a woman running away from something evil. You can guess where this is going, Medusa. A monstrous hell beast whose terrifying stare turns people to stone. Well, Uma Thurman! That is a yeah, Uma Thurman is Medusa in this movie. How's she doing? How's she doing? Uma Thurman. She good? She good? Now that it's Uma Thurman, but that it's just her. She has the snake hair. Okay, standard. But look at all these designs that people have done over here. You could really have fun with a modern day Medusa with modern day technology, and it's just a normal person with snake hair. Look at this dumb idiot. She knows not to look, but for some reason she does. So, not looking people die. Well, she makes a good argument. I mean, the snakes do sound comforting. Oh, you got me! Tell my husband I died from idiocy. What a fucking idiot! Just that was so idiotic. Like, why'd you do that? Why'd you do that? The Olympians come to life. So it's like, can't get her hand free. Cuts off the arm and. Oh. But movie needs to move each other. That was kind of grim. That was kind of grim. Yeah, he, yeah. Heads up. I know that one. I remember that from the commercials. Yeah, we don't need information about how close they are to finding us. Or close curtains when there's a decapitated head in our room. Did none of them attend dumbass studies while they were training I all those I not years? know those clips of them in the, the apartment. girl seems to be on the crown of a statue. But they need to get past the cleaning crew first. <laughs> Sleep darts? They're not dead, they're unconscious. Bullshit, that dude is dead or all kinds of... Yeah, problems. dude. Oh, like never having children. They use the flying shoes to get the pearl, but they're suddenly ambushed. Were you expecting you, Mr. Jackson? Was there another instance where a gang of janitors threatened you in unison? They morph into a Hydra and start attacking our heroes by, Hydra. I guess, intimidating means. <laughs> so fire is now a mosquito bite. No luck! Good. They use Medusa's head to turn fire into stone. Movie, if you don't know why that's stupid, I'm not going to tell you. As they discover the location to the next and final pearl is in Vegas. Mr. Holker, we got Blackjack. Mr. Roper, we're not here to have fun. Post the catchphrase they put on every poster. Why, hello, siren-looking siren. Thank God we know nothing about sirens. Guys, why are we staying here for a while? Okay. Okay, so... I, uh... What's going on? Fighting the Lotus alters their minds, so they want to stay in the casino and party I, forever. I have never seen this scene. What it? What? This is not only a great update to the Lotus Eater thread in Greek mythology, but it's a great commentary on gambling addiction, drug addiction, honestly, just addiction in general. They're even shocked to discover they've been there for days, even though it just feels like three hours. Today's the 15th. No, tomorrow is the 21st. We were in there for five days. Had the rest of the movie been this clever, it honestly would have turned out pretty awesome. But instead, we're given a bunch of shit that doesn't make sense. Like the pearl is one of the marbles on the spinning wheel. Who the hell put that there? 
It's like having the dean to your house being what you wipe your ass with in the bathroom. It just doesn't seem like a good spot for it. Percy doesn't even wise up to the spill. He has to be told again by his father not to eat the lotus. So once again, his dad bails him out. No, Percy. Don't eat the flower. This film should be called Training Wheels the Movie. Thank God management knows to always keep the keys to their show cars in the vehicle. Because you can't shoot yourself in the foot without bullets. <laughs> That seemed really unique. Yeah, that 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 look that, that, that thing. That siren thing. <coughs> Again, the photography looks nice. It's how everyone felt when they paid money to see this flick. They finally find some currency he'll accept, and he takes them to Hades. Please give me Again, the, 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 the design it makes it really stand out because it's re it's really epic. Approached by Persephone, played by Rosario Dawson, presumably doing time for Clerks Two. Hades is played by Steve Coogan, who I guess is kind Steve. of like Steve Woods as Hades if he was a street magician. Why did you come here? Well, you saw that I wasn't a thief. You let my mother go. You think I'm an idiot? I'm Hades. They discover the light. Your Hades. Mother is handed over, figuring out it was Luke who used them. Why that bundle of no motives? <laughs> Persephone betrayed. Your Hades. Or maybe they said something else right here. But until I until I know everything exactly, your Hades. You're basically a trickster, like magician. All the other gods are made some more. You know, he's he's probably bullshitting and stuff right here, but because everything was played more seriously, but I mean Is Hades though and said she'll let them go with the pearls. But they only have three and there's four of them. Matt was also not taught in demigod training. I'm staying because I'm the protector. Rover, come on, just go. It's my duty. We'll come back for you. Wow. That took like no convincing. No. Uh yeah. Alright, let's go. <laughs> It's the friendships that keep me. Connected. I don't remember. I don't remember this clip from Hades about Hades actually either. He has an eternity bonking Rosario Dawson. Boo, friggity who! <laughs> if she doesn't get your goat face, nothing will. They beat to the Empire State Building where Luke is there ready. I want to go back to that. What the? <laughs> the bonking Rosario Dawson. Boo, friggity who! <laughs> if she doesn't get your goat face, nothing will. They beat to the Empire State Building where Luke is there ready to That's fucking them. hilarious. But they certainly don't go out of nah. the <laughs> Yeah, he's the bad guy. Right, she just kicked his ass. Why wouldn't she be okay? Of course it comes down to one-on-one -on -one as Percy seems to be beaten. A shame he can't control water on this stormy night. If only Manhattan was surrounded by the clear liquid. Or most of the human body is made up of water. Everyone's done in this! Percy uses the water towers around him to surround Luke, who just stands there letting him do it. <laughs> Smashes the water into him, presumably electrocuting him, seeing how water and lightning don't mix or he's fine. Electricity and fire are playful sunburns in this world. Percy grabs the bolt and returns it to Olympus to stop the gods from going to war. All seems well, but Percy, still feeling inadequate, talks with his father for the first time. <laughs> How old was I? When you, you were just saw the plus sign on the pregnancy test old. That's why he passed the law preventing gods from ever having contact with children. The household is watching them. Oh, that reminds me. Malcolm, get in here! What now? Well, we're at the part where the wild youngsters are feeling hopeless, so we gotta give them a motivational speech. But they've barely done anything. How do you know they need to be motivated? Hey! Hands up those who don't have the real parents! See, now we're running short on time, so I'll That's give sad. To these two and you give a speech to those two. Wait, won't it vary because of the different things they've been through? I know you always saw yourself as a loser, but you are more than you think. There's a whole world you didn't know existed. It's about to turn to chaos, and you're the key to bring back balance. But how? I'm just a nobody. There's nothing special about me. Don't you know, Julian you Aragon? You're not <laughs> special like us. Aragon? You're the most special one of all. You're a wizard, Harry. Wow. Your 
You're a dragon rider, Aragon. Wow. You're the one, Neo. Interesting. <laughs> and you're a mutant. You an understand it? You're an X-Men. X-Men a lot, you believe? What? You're an X-Men. Just feel thankful that you got cameos in the singer films and go out there and win! But, well, but she's an X-Men! Hey, Parks, there's something on my finger. <coughs> so Percy discovers it was forbidden for Poseidon to communicate with him over She's an X-Men. Apart from the constant mental phone calls in his head, explain that one. And Percy goes back a hero despite the fact that he honestly didn't do that much. He even gets Grover released from constant sex with Persephone. Thanks a lot, asshole. He left the camp. He disobeyed my orders. But it was damn good flying. Oh, my favorite street. Same song, different course. Percy comes across, <laughs> who still refuses to tie up her hair when fighting, and it looks like they're gonna live romantic ish together. Oh, oh, wait. First rule of battle strategy don't ever let your opponent distract you. First rule of dating always grab a man's sword and use it against him. <laughs> At least somebody's learning something. And that was Percy Jackson and the Olympians, the lightning thief. And after so much you forgot the end credit scene. I think it only figures to make one big change. What is it? What's the? Duh! All right, did none of you see Dark Phoenix? I did. No. I'm in the X Men. You're not in Dark Phoenix. Basically, it means everything has come full circle, in that it absolutely hasn't at all. Percy Jackson is as phoned in a wild youngster's movie as you can get. While I have my issues with other films that did something similar, there was It doesn't really seem that way as you're saying, Critic, but it's your well, opinion, I respect that. Because they had an interesting story to tell. This just feels like they're trying to score big with a formula that's popular. It's emotionally lacking, there's not much of an arc for anyone. Even the creative visuals aren't all that creative. I've never read the books, but I pray they have more of an imaginative identity than what's represented here. It's not a god-awful movie, it's just standard, dull, and it's been done a million times. And you guys learned great from it. Congratulations, you all passed! Yeah! <laughs> Except for Potter, I hate him. Use your wand, please! Come on! Yeah. Come, come on! Use your wand! And, I'm happy to say, Jubilee, you pass with honors. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is the greatest day of my life! Let me jump! Yeah! I'm sorry if that was too. I'm sorry if that was loud. Me going, yeah, yeah. Like I was, I was, I was getting so excited. I was like, I was like pumped, like yeah, like because I was want because Harry, cause, yeah, he he had a he had a want. Tamara has Harry. He he had a want. Like he should do something. And then it sucks the fact that that and of course Jubilee, like of course like Harry got killed by Jubilee. That's just that sucks. Um. Um, so yeah, that reference was the Dark Phoenix, the, the calling, renaming Jean Grey, which, yeah, that's a spoiler to, for Dark Phoenix, for Dark Phoenix, and I had my thumbs up by saying, like, yeah, like, I, I saw the movie, so I got that reference, like, so I don't need to worry about spoilers and stuff, because, yeah, yeah, so I don't need to worry about spoilers, um, um, which, by the way, if you want to know what I think about Dark Phoenix, you can, um, you can see my previous video, like, which you can find on my channel, um, so anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, this was I. I really like this video, but 
I'm divided. I can't really get behind his opinion. It seems like from as far as I remember with some with clips and also just rediscovering rediscovering it and knowing more about how the story is in the movie. Um, it looks really good. It has some epic s designs. The CGI is really good. It just it has some and even if it has some elements, there's a style and tone to it which makes it which makes which does make it feel different. And again, doesn't make it seem to be regarded as much generic. But again, it's his opinion, and I respect. But again, it's his opinion right here, and I have my own opinion. Um. So, so yeah. Um. Well, and even though I earlier I said it was kind of cliche, but well, like who? Why would the hero die and stuff right here? But not the fact that it was a cliche fantasy, but just the fact that why would the hero die, or something? And yeah, and, no, that's kind of weird. Like that, that ends abruptly. Like that's that's shocking. I'll hopefully watch the whole movie by myself and see what I completely think about it. I mean, of course, I mean, I it was already seen right there, but I, but I have seen clips and I know like how the story, when and the story, like and stuff. Except for the father thing, but I feel like you know the father. There should be a nice moment with the with Percy and his father, because son and father. Um. Um. I had no idea there was a scene with the siren with the siren stuff. Uh. And, and yeah, like I said, like things came full full circle when they put the sign right there, which which yeah, that's the thing that bothered me is the fact that it's just that yeah, which is probably referencing something that happened with Dark Phoenix, which again just just bothered me, just Dark Phoenix. So so anyway, um, I apologize if you wish that I saw the movie so this reaction would be more legit, um, um, but I hope you guys still found this review this reaction interesting, entertain like entertaining. I hope you still I hope you still enjoy this reaction and um um and more and of course more nostalgic critic reactions soon in the, soon in the future. Um, I'm trying to do a reaction. In fact, I'm trying to hopefully soon in the future do a reaction to his review of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles: Out of the Shadows that has on Angry Video Game Nerd and Andre Black Nerd. Um, also, one thing I want to point out. Um, yeah, the person Logan Lerman as, per, as Percy Jackson. He seems like yeah right here, but it's but it's there is something where it does seem different from other performances that he's played. He played at least at least at least and stuff. So at least there's a different character, but I guess maybe he's a little bit of a maybe he seems a little bit of a stick in the mud. Um, but but I do like but I do kind of like Logan Lerman, of course, like from what he did in Purse Being Wallflower. In fact, I felt like and you know what? I can say that with him playing a shy, um, vulnerable character, which I can kind of relate to actually like like with char with his role as charlie and first being wallflower it seems like he, he is he excels and that's the best character you could possibly do with portraying a character like that and i i give much respect i give much respect and yeah though it seems like it seems like percy he doesn't he doesn't suck i guess maybe just again it's, again it's like percy in the movie seems a little bit of stuck in the mud but again i do not know what per but again i do not know and, and yeah I do not know if the book, like how the book is compared to the film. I do not know if they made some make things more cliche and generic in the movie. And yeah, they skipped. They missed the scene, the end credit scene. Like they, they still had the Medusa head. And they they froze the the the, the, the stepfather got like turned to stone and died. Though, admittedly, that was kind of dark. Like, um, I gotta finish this review. Um, I mean this reaction. Um, so anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to an Assad Tricks review of Percy Jackson and the Olympians, The Lightning Thief. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye and peace.